Hey guys, welcome back to the Minimalist Bujo Challenge. Uh, it is the weekend, thank goodness. Uh, in the last episode, you saw pretty much exactly this. I haven't gotten like any of these things done yet because I am filming a little bit early on in the evening um, and my weekend plans look like they're gonna change. Um, so I might have to reshuffle some of these things or push them into next week. Um, fortunately, I was pretty productive with most of this week and was able to tick off a lot of the stuff on my to-do list. So it's just a few things, uh, kind of projects that I wanted to do this weekend that maybe I won't be able to, but um, let's see here. Basically the main change is that I spent like so much time explaining how I had written this out that we were going to have be going to volunteer at the church tomorrow, Saturday, um, but then I get a text from my husband apparently he was wrong and it is tonight, Friday, so that's why I'm filming early um, and why I probably won't be able to get to all of this stuff, but I will um, still try to do some of the filming maybe before we go because we don't have to be there till 8 30 but um i may not read a chapter tonight i am uh doing pretty well with my progress through the book um i have six more chapters and what one two three four five six seven eight more days if i don't read tonight so i still have enough time to be able to get this done uh if i take a night off I do, I do have to do this. Okay. Um, so it looks like tomorrow, I'm just going to go up here. I don't need to set aside the page opposite. I have been like leaving spreads for either like evergreen stuff, like, you know, this tracker, um, to-do list projects and all of that. And then having dailies on their own spreads. Um, but here it's, it's not a big deal. We're getting short in, uh, not that much time left, so I don't foresee myself needing this page for anything other than dailies. So uh, it's the 23rd Saturday. I'm going to be actually driving down uh, to visit my family because a friend is coming into town. And so I want to see her before she goes. So it looks like 6.30 is the sort of well, we'll call it a Kaylee because it is a party that will feature Irish dancing. So that's the Gaelic term for that. Uh, we used to do Irish dancing. Shout out to anybody who is part of that crew. Yeah, that's that's who we were as, as kids. I have not done any like competition stuff since high school, since middle school, I think. But we always make it a point to um, to do at least a few Kaylee dances whenever all of our friends are together. Um, we did the 16 hand at our wedding. Anyway, that is a side note and not important. So because of that, uh, let's see. Bring, okay, I'm gonna, Yes, Max? I'm leaving that as a blank for the same reason that this is uh, encoded. It doesn't matter. But I'll actually just mark it there. And a lot of this stuff is not going to get done tomorrow if I'm going to be out of town. But I don't think I'm... I still have to... I haven't even mentioned it to my husband yet. I don't know if he's going to come. So this is all very last minute change of plans. Um, and not a big deal because... I'm all, my whole life is in here, and it's all going to be fine. It's really going to work out well. Let's see. I never have been getting bad at this. Filling out my tracker. And also I have uh, let up with my Instagram. I should try to post on Instagram before I go to bed tonight. Um, I did stretch yesterday though. Alright, so all this project stuff, I'm not even gonna sort of, I don't think I'm gonna add any tasks really except reading my Bible study stuff because we can do that with the audio Bibles on YouTube. Um, it actually is, I, I find the easiest way to, uh, to do things. I can listen to 
are reading uh, while I'm driving and sort of multitask that way. And is there anything else here? Yeah, I don't I don't want to add any of these things to my to-do list because the day is going to be a little bit up in the air and more sort of about enjoying spending time with friends and family than about getting stuff done. So I'm just going to leave that as it is and then do whatever I can to check off some of these things tonight before we have to go to um, St. Norbert Fest. St. Norbert is our parish and so it's a very creative name for our fall festival. And we're volunteering with the Knights of Columbus. Um, we do have to say a novena tonight for my uncle. So I want to make sure to put that there as well so I don't forget. And you know what, I'll even put a number so that I can keep track of what day we're on. All right. So yeah, so basically anything that I get done here, that's great. Anything I don't get done off this list will just get migrated or scheduled back onto my to-do list or whatever. Um, and mostly these were things that I was working on from this spread of all the different video projects I'm working on. Um, I will be able to get these done, you know, in time, just maybe not some of them. This one, the publishing date might get pushed back, but I can try to focus on this one first because it needs to be up before Monday, which shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, all of that rambling is to say that when life throws a curveball at you, having an up-to-date bullet journal can help you stay on your feet. Um, and even if it doesn't involve extra pretty, and also probably especially if it doesn't involve extra pretty stuff, because I don't have to sit down and, you know, spend so much time decorating in order to get on with my day. And I don't have to worry about packing like, you know, straight edges and markers and whatever. Um, I once when I was visiting my mom, um, I actually did bring like every washi tape I owned, not just for me to use, uh, but so that we could like share it and plan together because that's the thing we do. Um, if you haven't seen the video where I interviewed my mom and her, my sister about uh, their bullet journal systems, I will go ahead and link that below. So I hopefully will not forget to link that in the description um, so you can see how she plans and how um, my sister plans and how it all kind of is different from each other's systems and how we influence and uh, inspire each other. So that I thought was a lot of fun. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for another one of these videos. And until then, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment because that makes my day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.